what's going on everyone? Thanks so much for uh, tuning into the channel. So today I'm bringing you guys another cool guitar. It's from 1977, a Fender Stratocaster. And uh, I don't normally pick up these later 70s guitars just because, you know, they, they can have some problems. But this one has sort of a major modification to it. And if you're a collector of these type of guitars, it might be horrifying. But, you know, if you're a player, it's probably an upgrade. So we're going to check that out today. But uh, let me first talk to you guys about some of the history with these guitars. And we will also play it later on. But... Uh, this is a custom color black 77 Stratocaster with a maple neck and I really think it's a cool guitar uh, for what it is. Uh, it's got a lot of cool checking on the body that, that's reminiscent of the old Fender 50s, 60s Stratocasters. Um, it's got some play wear here on the armrest area and the maple neck has really been played in. You can see, um, I mean it looks, you know, kind of like a 50s Stratocaster which is why I picked it up. If you're looking for something with a vintage look and feel uh, at a better price point, you know, this guitar could be a good option for you. So someone has really played the hell out of it to get that kind of play wear on a polyurethane fingerboard. Uh, and you can see the big headstock logo there with the bullet truss rod. So this one has an all black pit guard, which I think had to be custom ordered by Fender at that time. And Fender had also introduced the five-way switch as well, which is kind of a plus. This is the 70s style bridge, which is not as desired, but I mean, it really functions just the same. Um, then later in the 70s, they went to flat pole pickups, which is kind of ironic because Fender started out with that design on the uh, early Telecasters. So if we flip the guitar over here, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Everything is stock on the back, except we have a four bolt neck plate, which this is not factory. Um, I believe somewhere around 72 uh, about Fender went to the three bolt neck plate and it's, you know, an infamous design that people say is less stable and, you know, robs the tone or whatever. Um, I don't know if any of that's true, but I do prefer the look of the four bolt and, you know, unfortunately that was just one more uh, nail in the coffin for Fender and, and what CBS was doing to basically cut costs. Whoever did it, however, did a really uh, professional job and put something in here to fill that third hole, which, you know, you can really barely tell that it was done, honestly, because of the color uh, being black. I think it, it hides it pretty well. To me, you know, I personally, I feel like I have no problem with this. I would rather have a four bolt guitar. It's kind of like a Gibson headstock break. Just take the, the discount and, and go play it. So another reason why I bought this guitar uh, at a lower price point and really this, this mod to me, it, it's, a, it's an upgrade. So in the original case, um, there was a, a 70s hang tag, which is kind of cool to have. And then we did have the original three bolt neck plate as well. So that's excellent. And finally, the original black back plate to go with the matching pit guard and, and everything else. So it's a complete package. One modification brings the price down. Today we're gonna play it through the 68 Super Reverb and I've got a two by 12 cabinet. We're just gonna kind of go through the uh, clean tones and see how it sounds. And then if you guys wanna stick around, I'll give you my uh, opinion on the guitar, what I think about it at the end. So let's go ahead and play this thing and check it out.
All right, guys. Well, thanks for making it this far. I really appreciate all of you. I'd love to hear your opinion on the guitar if you want to drop me a comment. But really, I think it sounded better than I expected. The neck pickup was still really kind of warm and rich sounding. Uh, you know, being a 70s Strat, they get a bad rap. Uh, and, and a maple neck and the cheaper electronics that they did put in these guitars. It's a little bit microphonic and uh, personally the bridge pickup is a little bit too harsh. The middle pickup is okay but for me where it's at is that neck pickup and maybe I'm just a neck pickup guy for a Strat. But if you're looking for a vintage guitar that's fairly affordable to just kind of you know, get your feet wet in the vintage market, then I think this is a great option. So if you're into vintage guitars and amps and tones and all that good stuff, you might stick around because I do a lot of videos like that. I'm always searching for a better tone or a better feeling neck or better pickups or whatever. So for me, I just enjoy finding old guitars and experimenting with them. So that's what this is about. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and we will talk soon. Peace.